their key was everybody started making three pointers again. Mm-hmm. They went and shot fifty percent from the three point line. That's that's their big thing. Plus, Memphis is a little hurting, so yeah. that's what happens. Like the older team, the older teams are starting to hurt now. <laughs> they're they're getting a little they're getting a little hurt, and the other teams are taking advantage of it. Yeah, I was I was starting to worry about the Warriors here, and. It's one of those. They started added, making their shots again. Yeah, it's one of those things that scare you. Is that can a team keep up that potency of shooting for, for a series, and especially against the old school style in Memphis that got what they call them the, the ground and pound. Yeah, they pound the shit out of it. You got Zach Randolph and Marcus Saul, and and they change. They slow the pace of the game, and you got physical defenders and Courtney Lee, Mike Conley, and Tony Allen, which he is set to be back. For the next game, but uh, I, 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 think I say it's coming back. Well, we'll get to that later. Yeah. I, I just feel like that. <laughs> you say coming back. I was like instantly <laughs> thought it's <was> not <laughs> nah, it's good. I, I, I just get the feeling that I would he did have a little bit of a hangover, and it's one of those where you, you really have to feel like, hey, you know what? Well, it's, it's, I had a moment. I'm still in the playoffs. I need to go and focus on what's at hand, and and uh, we're all human, and we can get caught up in the emotions. Sometimes, and, and uh, but it wasn't just him. The whole team struggled. Yeah, the whole team struggled those couple of games, and then they sort of all bounced back last night. Yeah, Draymond Green got in foul trouble in, in, in the uh, game, like the earlier games that I saw, and that really what kind of took them out of the way because then you're relying on With Tristan Thompson shot for, or uh, what the hell is his name? You talking about uh, Zach Randolph? No, 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 no. The other guy for freaking Memphis. No. Oh, Bowen. You talking Golden about State. Andrew Bogey. The Bogan. other shooter. Other shooter, Clay Thompson. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> I knew it was Thompson. Yeah, Clay Thompson. He he shot horrible the other night yeah. when they when they lost. So it wasn't just Curry that was being that was bad. No. <laughs> and I got the cherry cherry cookers. So uh, talk about Tony Allen because the few games when they they did put it turn it on, he was chanting, you know. And when they was at in Memphis, he was, chan- he was chanting first team all defense and getting the crowd into it, and he didn't play that game. So um, talk about him on the other side of the ball and what he brings to the court when he does play. He's an Andre. Mean little bastard. <laughs> he gets all up in your face. He throws you out of your rhythm is what he does. And you could tell. Because last night they started finding their rhythm with him now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he can throw you out of your rhythm. Well, He's I- one of them feisty little people that Get on your nerves. Well, ironically, like you say, because you, you're right, because Clay Thompson dropped 25 last he night. He says, God, when you play street ball, it get on your nerves. You're like, dude, <laughs> stop. All right. This series, do you think when Memphis, if you go back to Memphis, the Memphis tie it up and let's just go back to Golden State for game seven? They probably tie it up. NBA wants more game seven. NBA's trying to do what hockey is doing. Game <laughs> sevens. I tell you what, it's been so far the second round has been pretty solid. There was that one point in time where all the lower seed teams were up two to one, and not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. There, there's been a flip flop, and and uh, well, except for the other series we will talk about. But I, I think this is going seven games too, and and uh, Golden State to come back here. This, this is just that. It's always when you're on one of those contender status. I know for a few teams, well, some teams. That there's always a team that you tend to have a hard time with, and where this one is just you know the flair, the flair, and the finesse of the Golden State is having troubles with the ground and pound of the Memphis Grizzlies. So well, they're gonna have their problem with anybody. Yeah, it's just the way they play ball. Gotcha. All right, let's move on to the Houston and the Los Angeles series. Uh, besides one game, this series has been lopsided as far as final scores. Oh, no, let's just move on. Bye, Houston. <laughs> as far as you look at the scores, game one, 117-101. Game two is only close game, 115-109. Clippers spanked them, 124-99. And also 128-95. And then Houston came out and spanked them, 124-103. So this, Can we do another spanking tonight? This, this series is really confusing as far as, you know. But I guess I want to ask you here is uh, the lopsidedness of this series and, and pretty much really it's – the Clippers have been controlling the series. And for them to do it with two games without Chris Paul is it's pretty impressive. Um, 
talk talk about them and, and Blake Griffin and his progression. I know we need time to spend that. I already that. talked about that already. So let the people know again. Yeah, he, <laughs> he he's doing what everybody wanted Blake to do, and Blake's now become the dude on the team mm-hmm. instead of everybody always talking about Chris Paul. They they're talking about Blake Griffin now, and he's finally finally living up to that potential that everybody put on him. Mm-hmm. Put on him before. Yeah, Blake Griffin is showing up. They're actually having some, because what was concerned about the, the Clippers was their bench. So Austin Rivers has been doing pretty solid in the series. He's done great. J.J. Redd has been providing some scoring punch on the uh, on the starting lineup. So it's giving him some help where, you know, you get Chris Paul in the penetration. You get Blake Griffin deep down in the post. You can kick it out to those guys, and you can allow him to hit a shot, along with Jordan Crawford. I said George, Jamal Crawford. Hey, you did me. I know, I did you. Jamal You're Crawford. Like, What's that guy's name? <laughs> Jamal Crawford. I don't know. Jordan is someone else that is not in the playoffs right now. Jordan but, Crawford. Yeah. But Jamal is, 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 is doing what he's done as well, too. So they're, they're killing Houston. Cameron but, Jordan or Jordan Cameron? Yeah. All right. Did you even watch that first half in uh, game four where they hacked the Jordan? And they, I don't watch those games because they're boring. So I, I haven't. I, I watched one game in this series, I think, and mm-hmm. I haven't watched the rest of them because it's so damn boring. As soon as they start fouling, I just turn it off, and they're late. So, <laughs> so game four, there was twenty eight free throws attempted by DeAndre Jordan in the first half. Oh, you NBA don't say! Record. He shot thirty four for the whole game. He made ten. Where, where are you? Where are you at with this whole hacking of four free throw shooting? You change the rule, for God's sake! Change in. For the love of everybody trying to watch the basketball game, change the rule. Not just the guys that are playing it. it, it it's so stupid. It, it, it's so stupid. Just, just change it. It's not good for the game at all whatsoever. It, it. I know it's within the rules. And well, shoot, well, like I've said before, shoot better free throws, but you need to change it. I'm with you because I'm fifty fifty on this because <laughs> you're fifty fifty. You're you're better than all the rest of these guys that are shooting free throws. <laughs> At least you're fifty fifty. I just feel like it is. I was watching that and it was brutal. Terrible. It it was brutal. And the funny thing is, is that what you're allowing them to do, which you already know, what DeAndre Jordan game is on the other side of the ball. You're allowing them as you free you foul them. They get to set back up on defense. Mm-hmm. You're allowing, isn't? You're making, you're making the game into a snail's pace game. Of course, you're going to score on on your defensive side because you're a good offensive team. Mm-hmm. But for the love of Jesus, it shows yeah. you how bad Houston is at playing defense when they have to foul. You are every single time. You are letting them set back up on defense. Houston is known for pushing the pace a little bit more. This would make sense if they was more of a half court team. But what not what kills me with Houston is you're supposedly got one of the best defensive players in the league on your team, but yet you're resorting to not playing defense at all and are hacking people. Exactly. It's Come con- on. It's confusing. So that's why I say I'm fifty fifty on I think they need to change it in some some kind of way. But you need to learn how to shoot free throws. Well, people need to shoot their free throw because there's top of my head, there's five players they really do this to. DeAndre Jordan is one. Dwight Howard is another one. Josh Smith, Ray John Rondo, and the fifth one. Yeah, it's bad when you do it to a point guard. Yeah, point guard is bad. And then the fifth one, I, it's off the top of my tongue, but I, it's, it's they're brutal. But if you got so many centers, yeah, I mean. They're going to start doing it to your boy, too. What's the center that can hit free throws, too? Yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, there, there's a difference, though. The foreign game teaches. But even, even like, the foreign game, even there's some uh, American talent that, that's decent, these big guys that are hitting free throws. Trying to think of some big guys that can hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, try to think. <laughs> that match my Al Horford's one of them. Well, yeah, Al. So you, I mean, you got Paul Mills up. That's about that same. Mm-hmm. Al Jefferson. That that's decent yeah. free throws. So that, well, you're talking about big guys that, that that have an outside game too. Right. That can shoot free throws. You ain't looking at Noah and going, oh, he's a great free throw <laughs> shooter. <laughs> so, Most big uh, guys are bad shooters because they don't work on it. A big guy with an sh- outside game is going to be a good free throw shooter. Chris Bosh is a good th- free throw shooter yeah. because he has an outside game. But your bigger guys that usually play in the post, they don't have to worry about shooting. So, your Warwick side was he decent at free throws? No, 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 no. no. 
No. I was just making sure because I was, I, I, was I, I, don't, I remember him, they hacking him a couple times. No. But Kevin's like, no. 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 So I, they, they, He threw up some very questionable shots. You're like, huh? Well, I saw, I saw some from my point guard too. Your so point I, guard was bad. Yeah. Yeah, you're, he's you're, gotten better. Yeah, I mean, he, he was bad. He's gotten better. He should have just bounced them off his head, <laughs> trying to knock them in. So he was bad. They they need to figure out what to do about it, but it's, it's, I don't want it to kind of benefit poor free throw shooting because you're looking at guys that can shoot the free throw well. Like, well, what the heck is this? So we'll, we'll see how that works out. I think they need to go. If you're going to do that, you give them the two shots and the ball. If you're legit going to hack, go and hack on purpose, you give them two shots in the ball. Now, son, I was thinking. And if they hack again, you give them two more shots. Son, I was thinking, you know how the hockey has a power play? <laughs> no, no, hell no. There's you can't go time. one, you can't go one man down. Time. No, you can't, you can't go one man down playing basketball. No, <laughs> hell no. No, no, that, that, no, no, that, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just no, what I say is if, when you do it the first time, you give him two shots, but you give him the ball back. If you do it again when they throw it back in, he gets another two shots. You will like that. No power fucking play power. No power playing basketball. No. You want to have the guy take him on the court no. and play for him. What five. are we playing? Rock and jock? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Hey, no. They call it funny entertainment, right? No. <laughs> no. No. At least, at least emphasize the time frame that he can do it. Like as far as no, gone. no, 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 not even at all. No, no, going down a man. This isn't rock no, no, and no, jock. No, this no. isn't I'm, hockey. I'm, I'm not talking about going down a man. Now I'm just talking about pick a certain time they can hack somebody. No, if they do it, if they do it, two shots in the ball. If they throw the ball back in and you do it again, he gets another two shots, and then you go on your way. That's how you. That's how you should do it. I think that. Or, or here's an even better one. If the guy fouls the guy that they're doing it on purpose and they're doing it intentionally, the guy gets two fouls called on him instead of one. Ooh. That ain't bad either. Yeah, that ain't bad. But almost treat it as an intentional clear path foul. Almost treat it as that. Because it's intentional. Yeah. They're doing it intentional. Was it? Do it that way and call it on that. Have four. Or if you do it a certain, or if you do it a certain amount of times, it goes into a technical foul. But not gonna lie, I had like four. It, it, it was a mess. But I agree with you. Yeah, there, if, there, there, there are some ways that they can. Yeah, if you do it, it doing, if you so. do it three times, you got a technical foul. Yeah. If you do it another three times, another, the, the last dude that does it gets thrown out of the game. There's so so you, if you do it six times in a game, you, you, you technicals, you're out. You okay. get two technicals, somebody's out of the game. And you don't get to pick it. <laughs> Whoever some, does it get, is, is gone. There's some news that you got running on there. I agree with that. So, yeah, I, I, I thought I'd get a rise out of my power play thought. But no big deal. It's, it's all it's all fun and games to me. So, But, honestly, they, they need to clear it up. Because as much as I, I don't want to reward the poor free throw shooters, I do want them to to uh, be able to earn their points from the free throw line. No, it's not. You, it's not. You can't. You can't be that bad from the free throw line. Yeah, you gotta don't work on something. It's not. It's not rewarding them. It's it's going to cause people to stop doing it. Yeah. If you want to ha- if if you want to foul him, foul him when he gets the ball inside the paint and he goes to shoot. Then foul him. Yeah. But don't just while you're walking down the court foul him. That's just stupid. <laughs> it's ignorant and stupid, and it delays the game and it makes the game boring as hell. Don't do that. You don't see white guys getting fouled. <laughs> or, heck, if they foul them, let the one team pick who goes and shoots the free throws. Yeah, stop it. Like, if they it, designate a free throw shooter. If you start doing the hacking, we get to let him shoot the free throw. Just find some way that people are like, nah, we ain't going to do that no more. <laughs> but the idea of Fouling him when he gets the ball, I'm perfectly fine with fouling him when he gets the ball. It's when he's standing 20 feet from the basket, he ain't even getting the ball. That's what I have a problem with. Yeah. But if he's got the ball and you foul him, go right ahead. All right. Let's move forward here and talk about the... Foul him every time they got it. <laughs> foul him every time. Huh? Mm-hmm. All right. 
You're telling me if Dwight Howard always caught the ball in the paint, I'd foul him every single time. Oh, he definitely, the ball. yeah, yeah. I, I, I encourage people to do that when they play you, Dwight you, Howard. You, but yeah. don't foul him 20 feet by the basket.